What up? It's Wizard Fu, and I'm working on some AI. Um, well, actually, the overarching thing I'm working on is the battlegrounds, the arena, the shape of the level, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's all. I got all these paths carved and stuff like that. But right now, I'm trying to test out the size of the arena by putting in some AI, some simple AI players, and seeing how they handle, seeing what it's like playing them. I think that will give me a good indicator of what is the right or white battleground size. Um, so I'm just kind of messing around with AI. As you can see, I, you can see some green dots where it was where the AI was pathfinding to, but uh, the AIs just tend to tend to give up and get clumped into some corner. Eventually, they all end up in the same place. In fact, maybe they're all headed here again. Like every time I run it, they all end up in one little place. It's super funny. But now suddenly they're like they're doing better. I don't know what's up with that. But you can see these green dots are where they're pathfinding. They're, they're using those for pathfinding. Um, and uh, I just uh, kind of confirmed that's all mostly working. I probably have a few bugs in the system there. Something I, I need to work on. Um, see, there it is. They're all in. <laughs> what's with this? They're supposed to randomly target markers. So you can see there's a gray marker 35026 here. And um, there's like, I don't know, 16 different markers all around the battlegrounds. And somehow they all end up at this one. That's not random. Something's randomly perfect. So, uh, yeah, I'm running around here in god mode. That's why I can run through walls and stuff. But, oh, there's one dude who got stuck here. But, uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of fun getting this all, like, to the point where uh, it, it's starting to shape up as a real battlegrounds. That's kind of cool. Um, what I need to do, steps next are to, um, to fix the AI so they actually aren't super stupid and then get them so that you can, you can actually, uh, attack. In fact, I can attack, but after a second, so you can see my hit points are going down. I'm already at 60, 52. That's because my, my attack is killing me. So, um, or if somehow something's going wrong there in the input system possibly. So I got to get, so entities can attack correctly again. Um, and then get all these AI fighting each other and and myself and sort of feel it out like how big is the how big is the battlegrounds feel what could be better stuff like that um, because right before I go and try and do any detail work on um, you know creating terrain height and these temples over here and doing some cool stuff wherever the players start and actually having items and play, stuff like that <laughs> AI party. What's up, AI party? How you guys doing? They're just sitting there giving up. Okay, uh, but yeah, before I do any detail work on the battlegrounds, it'd be really good to just confirm that it's all about the right size. So, and check this out. Here's something I was just playing with a second ago too. This is kind of fun. Adding in some actual height to the arena. This is a 3D game, and I want this to feel really 3D uh, as you're playing it. So I'm actually going to put staircases all around the battlegrounds. At certain certain uh, some of the lanes will basically be staircases, and uh, everything will have this terrain height. So right now um, I've got it so the player doesn't gain any terrain height at all as he's moving around. He's all just, he's just stuck at zero basically on Z. But then if I go to the straight up middle of the screen, you can see the player looks like he's about standing on the ground. He's actually a little his legs are e being eaten up by the ground a little bit. If I keep walking this way, you can see now he's up to his his waist. And he'll be covered up completely over here. That's because the you can see the slope of the terrain. See, and if I'm down here, I'm, this is like the actual bottom left of the arena down here. And uh, see, it slopes down to these points and slopes back up. So, and anyway, you can twist the camera and see that it still has that slope. It's not it's not as as visible. But this will make also adding in this terrain height will be really fun because it'll give you a need to use the camera rotation, right? You might need to rotate the camera to see what's uh, around a certain um, point or, um, you know what I mean? It'll help you give, give you more visibility. So, fun stuff. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.